if we are taking the function of it equals to f of x dx, what will be the range of this probability? Its value is less than or equals to 1.5, right? So less than 1.5 means if I am taking this one as 1.5, so we have to take less than this value, right? And as you know that this function f of x is for the value of x greater than 0. So for x less than 0, its value is 0. So we are taking this particular range only. So the range will be in between 0 to 1.5. In this, we will put in the value of f of x. The value of f of x equals to 4 into e raised to minus 2x into x2. So if I am putting this value of f of x, so if we are integrating this particular equation, then what will be the term? 4 is constant. So as it is, and for this we will use in the u dv formula. So the term will be x square into e raised to minus 2x by minus 2 into minus this 2x. Its differentiation is 2 into x e raised to minus 2x by 4 plus 2 into e raised to minus 2x by minus e. And the range of it equals to 0 to 1.5. Now, if I am solving this particular thing, then the answer of it equals to 0 0.5763. So, this way we can solve any probability by using gamma function. Now, the next example is, in a certain city, the daily consumption of electrical power in millions of kilowatts hours can be treated as a random variable having gamma distribution with parameter lambda equals to 1 by 2 and r equals to 3. If the power plant of the city has a daily consumption of 12 million kilowatt hour, what is the probability that this power supply will be adequate on any given day? Now what is the meaning of this and what we have to find out for this particular example? In this you had given the terms as given data are lambda is given to you the value of lambda equals to 1 by 2 and the value of r is given to you so r value of r equals to 3 right in this we are putting this two particular value in the equation of gamma distribution function so what will be the equation f of x equals to lambda raised to r r function into r x raised to r minus 1 into x raised to r minus 1 into e raised to minus lambda x. This one is for x greater than 0, right? In this, we are putting the value of r equals to e. So, e minus 1. e raised to instead of lambda, I will put 1 by 2. Here also, we are taking 1 by 2 raised to e upon c function. Now, if we are finding the value of this particular thing, then you can say that its value equals to 2. And if I am taking this as a 2, so 1 by 2 cube divided by 2 means 1 by 2 raised to 4. Means its value is 1 by 16. This one is x raised to 3 minus 1 means 2. And this value is e raised to minus x by 2. Now we are using this function to find out its probability. Now you have to find out probability of this power supply will be in adequate on any day means it will be always greater than this 12 million kilowatt hour. So we have to take the value of x which is always greater than or equals to 12. So next thing we have to find out is probability of x which is always greater than or equals to 12. So if you want to find out this particular probability then we will take in the range from it is greater than 12 right. So what will be the range? Greater than 12 means 12 to infinite. So the range will be from 12 to infinite. We will integrate in the function f of x dx. Now what is the equation of this function f of x? As we had derived the function f of x equals to 1 by 16 x square e raised to minus x by 2. Right. So we will put in this particular f of x in this equation. So what will be the next term? 1 by 16 x square into e raised to minus x by 2 and the range will be from 12 to infinite
Now this 1 by 16 is constant, so it will be outside of this integration. Now we have to integrate this particular thing, x square into e raised to minus x by 2. By using the formula of integration u derivative, if we are solving this particular thing, then the term will be x square will be as it is integration of this means e raised to minus x by 2 upon minus 1 by 2 minus differentiation of this means 2x into e raised to minus x by 2 upon 1 by 4 plus 2 into e raised to this one x e raised to minus x by 2 if we will taking the differentiation of this then differentiation of x will really remain 1 and this term will become minus 1 by 8 because integration of this particular thing will be this one right now in this we will take in the range as from 12 to infinite right so i am taking 12 to infinite now if i am putting this particular value so if you put in this value over here then the term will be e raised to minus 6 into 288 plus 96 plus 16 so the overall answer is 25 into e raised to minus 6 so answer of it equals to 0 0.062 so this way we can solve any examples of probability of particular random variable x for any given range with different distributions like gamma distribution exponential distribution, binomial distribution, Poisson distribution. So in this chapter we have covered all this type of distributions. From the next session I will explain you about the applied statistics. Thank you so much.